What's good with it, y'all? It's Coffee on the vid. Tapping back in, and we got a pretty big update on the Diddy Stein Island investigation, man. And my prediction from Jump Street has been that the feds are going to hit Diddy with that Rico. Let me know if you agree, you concur, or if not, hit the comments with it. But i just been thinking that from the jump, man. You know, all this was all civil suits that we saw hitting the news, you know? And it's still so crazy to think that had Diddy not played hardball when it came to negotiating with Cassie on that lawsuit and just settled with her before she filed, none of this would never have been going on. It wouldn't have hit the news. She would have signed the NDA before it was filed. The news wouldn't have got a whiff of it. All the coverage wouldn't have happened and all the other recusers wouldn't have came through soon. You know, it was the chain reaction effect all because it agreed. He came up off a bunch of M's anyways. He should have just did it before. But at the end of the day, if uh, you're a righteous individual and you think that he is indeed guilty of all this Epstein-like activities, then you, you know, wouldn't say he should have did it before, right? You should say, no, nah, it's good that he was greedy and slow-mo with the negotiations because that is what has him jammed up but maybe some people think hey no it's all consenting consenting adults and this that and the third i don't know comment and let me know what you think about diddy if you look at him like diddy stein island type ish or not right but why i've been saying they've been coming in with the rico is because Obviously, we saw the way the feds raided his home, but when they went and were looking into older crimes, the J-Lo-ish, which now uh, allegedly that's what's got J-Lo and uh, Ben Affleck divorcing once again because when they came at her wanting to talk to her about the old situation with Shine as there's one accuser who's always been saying Diddy was the one that shot her and they wanted to get J-Lo like, yo, did he make you hold the strap, you know, like going all the way back as, you know, a RICO cases, the, the past, present, you know, drawing the whole timeline of the criminal enterprise. So on top of all that, oh yeah, but uh, uh, reportedly, you know, the, the J-Lo didn't give the feds what they wanted. So they gave Ben Affleck some footage from one of the freak off parties and he was appalled and just could never look at her the same again, man. I don't know. Allegedly, that's that's what they're saying. Let me know if you think that's really what it is. But on top of all that, um, peep this, man. The feds put out this uh, subpoena. Put out. They hit this uh, hotel with this subpoena. And it's so wild to think, too, with that video that leaked out. We know that came from a hotel. And that was like, yo, how in the flood did this never see the light of day? How many people got paid off? to keep that under wraps, to keep that concealed. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just the people at the top in security or at the hotel, like a lot of people probably had to keep their mouth shut about that. Unless it was super hush and only a few people knew because it was so wild the way it all looked, right? It looked like no one else was on that hotel, that whole floor or something like that. But you've seen that footage made its way out right at the right time. Go figure the way ish goes, man. But I wonder if this is the same hotel that's been subpoenaed now because check it out Daphne Joy 50 cents BM is baby mom and we know fifth been going in on Diddy pause non-stop on his bumper as I'm sure y'all done seen the, the trap Lord Ross video covering it all and just seen everything that's transpired between between Diddy and fifth over the years but then on top of it all his baby mom's the mother of his 12 year old son is in you know uh, the, the, the paper trail and, and named in the in this whole ex trafficking ring as an ex worker and y'all know the way that went right fifth got on the gram and was like damn you dirty little ex worker you and then she accused fifth of grape and then fifth said okay well i might have to sue your ass and get custody of my son and she fell back off them grape allegations man she didn't like being put on blast in which the way in fifth did right he was like yo you, you wanted to move with me and uh, get pregnant again and have another baby. Remember on that song, you said, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. I'll write the baby, or I'll write the check before the baby comes. Who the fuck cares? I'm stanky rich. I'm gonna die trying to spend this ish. South sides up, right? I'm getting off track, but some of these broads out here heard that 
And, you know, not like they already weren't trying to get pregnant by rappers, pro athletes, other celebrities and such, right? Like that fifth really drew the attention of uh, some of these chicks, it seems, because that's what he told Daphne. Like, you just wanted to get pregnant and have another baby by me, but I was too busy out working. So you went and fluffed with Diddy and ended up on his monthly payroll. She gets a monthly stipend, right, from Diddy as an ex-worker. That's what the feds is saying, and that's what they're trying to um, make more clear here with this subpoena as they subpoena this unnamed hotel and they want to know it all all the way back from january 1st 2008 until present day this is a hotel that diddy frequented and uh you know they're alleging had a lot of ex-workers in and out of there including daphne joy as both their names are mentioned listen they want reservations check-in check-out times um guests who were there the guest list guest preferences requests of things to the room emails email addresses, house addresses, phone numbers, payment methods, whether it's cash, card, bank wire, I don't know, you know what I mean? Where is all the money coming from? They want to know it all. They want, uh, again, cash, credit cards, IP addresses that were used, logins, um, ID copies, I'm not sure exactly what that is, and any footage. Now, Obviously, with all the payment info and all that, that's a whole lot, right? They're trying to, you know, piece it all together and show, okay, this monthly ex-worker uh, bread that she was getting on the payroll. This was one of the places where it was all going down at, all the ex-trafficking. And obviously, when they're asking about money and this, that, and the third, they're, they're trying to piece it together as transactions were going down, uh, business in the ex-worker sense, ex-trafficking went down, allegedly, according to the feds, in this hotel that Diddy frequented and they want all the info so they can put that paper trail together, that digital trail together and, and um, you know, hit them with this uh, federal indictment. You know, like I said, I think it's going to go become a RICO case, but maybe not. Either way, though, I think Diddy's going down with the feds. But that last thing, footage, right? Will there be any footage? You know what I'm saying? Like we saw how that one piece of footage where Diddy beat the brakes off of Cassie was in the cut for the longest time, Billy Joel voice until all this ish hit the news. You know, that ish was kept under wraps. Will there be other footage or has it all been deleted? Or is this gonna be the time where they say, hey, we just got subpoenaed Diddy. You better come up out your pocket if you want that footage to disappear. You know what I mean? Like, will the hotel have all this information will they cooperate and turn it all over to the feds how does it work in in this current day and age when the feds subpoena someone do they send their own tech person over to stand over the shoulder of the hotel workers uh, the, the the business uh executives or whatever who sort all this out and make sure that they're giving over every piece of information they got who did they just fall back in the cut and, and let the hotel do it? I don't know, but this is a huge update. This really shows that they are trying to piece this all together. And with Diddy and, again, 50 Cent's baby mom, Daphne Joy, being named, it really makes me wonder if Daphne will seize the opportunity if it arises, if the feds reach out to her and say, yo, um, turn state's evidence or whatever, you know, cooperate, uh, testify against Diddy. You know, like the, the feds are all about that, cutting deals and whatnot. And I wonder if that's what we will see happen here. But nonetheless, this was a huge update, in my opinion. Um, like I said, you see the feds making their chess moves as they uh, are nowhere near done in this investigation into Diddy, brother love, Diddy Stein Island. You know what I mean? They're trying to expose it all and throw them in federal prison. Hit the comments, share all your thoughts. Don't forget to sub up. Stay tuned for the next one. It's coffee. I'm about you, y'all. Peace.